story. My grandfather used to relate of a joiner and building contractor whose name it was Sam Oglethwaite. In a shop on the banks of the Irva, old Sam used to follow his trade in a town you have heard of, called Berry. That's where prize black puddings is made. One day, Sam was filling a knot hole with putty, went in through the door, walked an old chap fair smothered in whiskers. The old chap says, Good morning, I'm Noah. Sam asked Noah what were his business. That old fellow went on to remark that, not liking the look of the weather, he were thinking of building an ark. Well, he get in the timber for bullocks and up to the shipbuilding junk, and he fancied some nice bird's eye maple to panel the side of his bunk. Now, maple was Sam's monopoly, which means it were all his to cut. And since nobody else hasn't got none, he asked Noah to eat him a foot. Ain't me too much, answered Noah. Penny a foot near the mark. A penny a foot, and when rain comes, I'll give thee a ride in me ark. But neither would budge in the bargain. The whole thing were kind of a jam. So Sam stuck his tongue out at Noah, and Noah made rude gestures at Sam. <laughs> in wrath and ill feeling, they parted, not knowing when they'd meet again. And Sam forgot all about it. Till one day, it started to rain. It rained and it rained for a fortnight. It flooded the old countryside. It rained and it kept on raining till the Irwell was 30 mile wide. The houses were soon under water and folk to the roof had to climb. They said it was a rottenest summer that Barry had had for some time. The rain showed no signs of abating and water rose hour by hour, till the only dry land were at Blackpool, and that were on top of the tower. <laughs> so Sam started swimming to Blackpool. It took him best part of a week. His clothes were wet through when he got there, and his boots had started to leak. So he stood on the tower top, just before dark, when who should come sailing towards him, without Noah steering his ark. They stared at each other in silence, 